Hello, first graders. We are finishing your project today. There are a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need a black marker or crayon. You're going to need the sketch that we were working on yesterday. You will need your Jingle Bells work sheet, your music sheet, and you will need your red piece of paper. All right, let's get started. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a ribbon to our sketch. So I'm gonna plug in my camera, and when I do that, it's gonna switch you over to my desk view with my piece of paper. All right, so you should still see me I wonder why it's not doing that. Okay. All right, so here we go. Here is your picture of your Jingle Bells. And the other thing we're gonna add to this is the ribbon. So coming out from the handle, you're gonna go one way and back and back and down. Now to make it look three-dimensional, we are going to add the ribbon coming back. We're gonna add a line down. We're gonna add a line down. Then we're gonna follow along and end our ribbon. We're gonna do that on each side. So on this side, I think I'm gonna make mine go up. One way, back, and off. We can make these ribbons go anywhere we want them to. At the curve, come down. At the curve, come down. Bringing this over, back to the bell. extending the line coming out and up and ending. Now you have the two ribbons. I'm gonna make this line just a little bit darker. There we go. This is what your final piece will look like. So next, I need you to find your Jingle Bell worksheet. Any time you need to pause the video to work, you absolutely can pause and get something caught up. All right, here's our Jingle Bells. We're gonna start off with a nice circle shape. Then to add our second one, which is overlapping, I'm gonna touch my first circle shape and add then we're going to give each one of these that really thin oval shape. So this thin oval shape is going this direction. And I'm gonna make this one go this direction. Add your ovals. Next, we're gonna do the four curved lines from the bottom. These are the places in our bell where the music comes out. On top of those, we're gonna do the letter C. And we're going to be coloring that part in black. We're gonna do the exact same thing to the next bell, but first I'm gonna add a top on my bell. Now I'm moving to the next bell and two curved lines curving with the same way as the side of the bell. Two curved lines over here. Capital letter C, capital letter C. Pause at any time. You need extra minutes Add the top, curve, curve. Now, our 
our bells are complete. If you want to come back later and color them with a yellow or a gold, or if you even have some gold glitter at your house, that would be really pretty. Next, we're going to work on the ribbons. So coming from the top of my bell, I'm going to bring it over and back and over and down. That was my uh, timer for my next group. This line is going to come back up. We have a straight down all the way to that next ribbon. A straight down, over, down, and connect. Make that a little darker. So there's one ribbon. I'm going to bring my next ribbon up and away, up, 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 and this is going to come down and down, and this is going, this side is going to follow this curve, and this curve will follow this one. So it's going to go right into there, and from over here, we are going to curve out and up and to the end. Now your piece is almost complete. We still have some coloring to do. You can color your ribbon any color that you want. You can color your bells either with a yellow or a, or a golden brown or you could even do them red. And the last step is to glue your beautiful piece of Jingle Bell paper onto your red paper. Thanks for creating Jingle Bells with me today. I hope that you enjoy them as well. Bye.